Fourth grade students from Oregon Trail Elementary School in Casper, Wyoming visited Fort Laramie in May 2012. The fort was first an important supply post for the fur trade, and later for pioneers bound for Oregon, California, and Utah. The U.S. Army took it over in 1849, and the fort became a base of Army power during the Indian Wars of the 1850s, the 1860s, and the 1870s. I'd like to welcome all of you here at your National Historic Site. And you're from Castor. And this is where young Caspar Collins would have started out from once he arrived here from Ohio with his father and his father's troops. And uh, I understand you knew about Old Fort William. Is that correct? Old Fort William was the first fur trading post out here. Uh, in 1841, a replacement fort was built. Fort John, it was adobe. Adobe was readily available in the grounds here. And there were Mexican Americans that were hired from the Santa Fe area to come up here and build that structure. Early on, the Army gets here in 1849. Mm -hmm. Why are there guns in here? Um, the names above the beds, are, was it the real soldiers who stayed there? The same names that are downstairs in the day room on that roster. Each man's name is on the little shelf over the bed. How many prisoners can be in the prison? The answer to my question was 40 people. If any famous people stayed here at Fort Laramie, and the answer to my question was um, yes, many famous people that we know of today have stayed here. Casper Collins and his father lived here at one point. How do they make adobe blocks? And the answer is mud, and they let it dry out in the sun for many hours. Yeah. And I like how there's a big part of history still here. Back Why did the front tires have to be smaller than the back For tires? steering. The, the bigger tires are for going over bumps and rocks. Why did they shave your head? Back it, then they usually didn't shave their head, so if no. it was a shaved head, they yeah. knew you did something wrong. Yeah, not, not like uh, today with the Frontier Army where they have the buzzes, the real short haircuts. Back then it was uh, a sign of uh, being disciplined. Yes. Um, would you um, ever, like, if you were a girl, would you ever have to get your head shaved if you did something wrong? I learned that some, that in the army, that they all had a special job for a lawn, a person that did laundry, and it was a really hard job, so they got paid a dollar a month, which back then was a lot. In the Fort uh, Historical site, I learned that they usually only made bread in the breakery.